Multiples and Squares, Learner's Book, page 20 and 21. What the meaning of squares? The squares are the square numbers. We are going to take them for today. Okay, first thing we have to revise. What are odd and even numbers? Let me give you some examples. And let's try to figure out what are the even and odd numbers. Okay, for one single uh, single digit number, the odd numbers that <clears throat> are 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. Those are the odd numbers. The even numbers are 0, 2, 4, 6, and 8. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Okay. This is the condition of having one single digit number. But what if the number is 239? What about 496? Which one of these numbers is an odd or an even one? Okay? When you want to see if a number is odd or even, you have always to look on, you have to look at the ones digit always. Now, since the first digit here in the ones place is an odd number, that means 239 is an odd number. But when there is an even number in the ones digit, that means 496 is an even number, although it has 9 as, a, as an odd number. Even this one has an even number, but how we decide if that whole number is uh, even or odd? By looking at the ones digit, if it wasn't even from this group, so it's an even number. But if the ones digit was from the odd group, that means the whole number is an odd number. Can you give me some examples? Correct. Nice. Okay. For our lesson, what are multiples? I know that you know the multiples in a different word. The different word was was the product for a multiplication sentence, such as uh, for the timetable of 4, such as 6 times 4 equals 24. Um, 9 times 4 equals 36. Those are the products for this multiplication sentences. But we call them in different way. Those are the multiples of 4. So multiples of 4 are all the products in the timetable of 4. Starting from 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and go on. All of these numbers are multiples of 4. And there is larger numbers that are considered to be multiples of four i'm going to show this uh, i'm going to show it to you how to know it in our next slide okay multiples of five what are multiples of five multiples of five the timetable of five what are they starting from five ten fifteen twenty twenty five thirty thirty five and so on okay guys Look at these numbers for the multiples of 5. What is the common thing between all of these numbers? I'm going to help it by underlying some certain digit or place. Can you see the ones place? What do you notice about the ones place? The ones place always starts 5 or 0. All the multiples of 5 and the ones place starts with 
is zero. So what we can say that all multiples of five starts with zero or five. Okay? If it was starting with zero, that means it's an even number. If it starts with five, it's an odd number. 35 is an odd. 30 is an even. 25 is an odd number. Okay, so all multiples of five in the ones place, it's either zero or five. Multiples of 10. What are the multiples of 10? Starting from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, and go on. What do you notice about the multiples of 10? Again, if you look at the ones digit for each number of the multiples of 10, all of them starts with, all multiples starts with a zero. So all multiples of 10 has, have zero in the ones place okay okay there is more information that you have to know about the multiples of 25 and the multiples of 50 you have to notice something about these two special numbers look at the multiples of 25 let's start with the multiples of 25 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150, 175, 200, 225, 250. I know that we took this one before. What is the common thing about the multiples of 25? The common thing between the multiples of 25 that the ones or the tenths digit must have one of these red boxes. What the red boxes have inside of each one? It is it's either have 25, 50, 75, or, oh sorry, 75 or 0, 0. So all multiples of 25 in the ones and the tens digit, it ends with 25, 50, 75, this one is not clear, 75, sorry, sorry, and 0, 0. So an example, 2,525 is a multiple of 25. Why? Because in the ones and the tens place, it has 25. Another example, uh, uh, 950. If you look at the ones and the tens digit, you have 50. 50 is one of the clues that tells us it's a multiple of 25, okay? Multiples of 50. Multiples of 50 are 50, 100, 150, 200, 50, 300. Take a look. What is the common thing between all of these numbers? Let me circle some certain places. Ones, tens, ones and tens, ones and tens, ones and tens, and so on. So to know if a number is a multiple of 50, it has to end or to start in the ones and tens place by 50 or 0, 0. Example um, is 1000 is a multiple of, five, uh, of 50. Look at the ones and the tens place. It has 0, 0. So, yes, 1000 is a multiple of 50. How about 725? 
look at the 25 it's not one of these cases so this one is not another case uh, 400 and 50 look at the 50 here so yes 450 is a multiple of 50 great job guys okay how to know if a large number is a multiple of a certain number such as if um, is 96 is a multiple of 4 the way to know if 96 if it was a multiple of 4 or not is by using long division 4 dividing 96 divided divide it by 4 okay 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 I know some of you kids can do long division without using this timetable of 4 or the multiples of 4 0 4 8 12 16 24 uh, sorry 20 24 28 uh, 32 and 36 right guys so remember those are the multiples of what multiples of 4 okay let's do the drill 9 where's the 9 here is 9 circle 2 2 times 4 equals 8 equals 1 bring down the 6 16 is here 4 4 times 4 equals 16 take away the answer is the quotient is 24 and the remainder is 0 notice my students my dear students that when you do a long division and the remainder is 0 that means that 96 is multiple of 4 because I divided 96 into 4 groups and I had nothing left that means yes 96 is a multiple of 4 and in this way of test you can know whether the number is a multiple of 4 multiple of a certain number you can try by your, by your own self to try uh, if is um, I want to say 102 multiple of 6 try it out by using long division okay the next one so we are done with multiples let's talk about the square numbers when you hear the word square you always you are going to think about a square what are square numbers let me start with a simple example let's start with um, 2 times 3 do you remember how we do 2 times 3 using arrays by using arrays that means two threes that means two rows of three dots right if you go around those arrays you are going to find out that the shape that you have here is a rectangle okay so we are going to know or to figure out what are the numbers times times each other to give me an array with an equal number of columns with equal number of rows I'm going to use this grid to be so accurate in writing or drawing down the square numbers. Let take let us take a simple example. Two times two. Two times two that means two two times. Look at the shape that I have drawn. The shape is a totally square. Let's take another number. The answer is four. Uh, let's try 4 times 4 4 times 4 that means 4 columns 4 rows 4 columns ok let's try to write, uh, to draw it here this is 4 4 
times. Look at this area that I'm drawing here. Mama. Okay, draw a line around here. You are going to find out that this is a totally perfect square. Okay, 16, because I've drawn 16 points. Okay, let's try six times six. So this one is not a square number. This one gave me a square number. This one gave me a square number. What about six times six? That means one, two, three, four, five, six, six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. You are going to notice that this is a perfect square when the distances between each dot is equal. So it's going to be equal 36. So 4 is a square number. 16 is a square number. 36 is a square number. Okay. So, look at these numbers that I multiplied by, by each other. Can you give me a rule how to find a square number? The square numbers can be, can be produced by multiplying a number times itself. 2 times itself gave me 4. 4 times itself gave me 16. 6 times itself gave me 36. So, square numbers are the numbers produced or the product of a number times itself. Now I'm going to show you a list of square numbers up to 100. Okay, so the square numbers up to 100, when you multiply one by itself, you get one. When you multiply two by itself, you get four. Multiply the three by itself, you get nine. So one. 4, 9, 16, 25, 36, 49, and so on. All of these are called square numbers, and we have infinite of square numbers, but for grade 4, it's enough for you to know all square numbers by heart. Remember, you have to know and remember the square numbers by heart up to 100. Okay. Now open your book, please together Let, and let's try to solve these questions I'm going to keep the list of square numbers close to me so you can have a look always while I'm doing the questions okay on page number 20 I'm going to start with question number one these patterns of dots show the first four square numbers Okay, I showed you before and gave you some examples. 1 times 1, this is 2 times 2, this is 3 times 3, this is 4 times 4. We have to complete the pattern, so the last pattern is going to be, oh, this is bothering me, is going to be what? 5 times 5. So this is 1 times 1, this is 2 times 2, which equals 1, 4, 9, from get a 3 times 3. This is 4 times 4 equals 16. So 5 times 5 will equals 25. You have to draw an array here by 5, repeating it 5 times 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the array of the square number of uh, 25, 5 rows or five columns. It's going to be a homework. You have to fill into these uh, empty uh, empty cells with an even number and a square number at the same time between 50 and 100 for each space. Okay, I'm gonna wait for your answers. Here, not a square number, but an even. Not a square number and not an even number. What the meaning is of not an even number not an even number that means it's gonna be a odd number guys okay I'm gonna leave it for you I actually know odd numbers 
Okay. Question number four. Use the digits one, two, five, seven to complete these statements. You can use each digit as many times as you like. Okay. It's a multiple of three using the digits one, two, five, and seven. I'm going to give you one minute. A multiple of nine by using these digits and the square number using these digits. I'm going to give you one minute. I'm coming back. Are you done guys? I know some of you are going to figure out these numbers quickly and there is a lot of answers by the way. Multiples, uh, multiple of three that has two digits using these uh, the, those one, two, five and six. You can use the digits as many times as you like. Okay, let's start. I'm going to pick a dark color. Okay, what are the multiples of three? Multiples of three, 12. 15, 21, and 27, right? Yeah. What are the multiples of 9? Multiples of 9 are 27, 72. Square number, it's only 25 in this set of group, okay? Now, question number 5. The sequence shows the multiples of 4, starting from 4 up to going up. Will 114, if you continue this pattern until 114, is it going to be a multiple of 4 or not? Because they said is 114 is going to be in this sequence. I don't want you to go on finishing the this sequence by adding four or writing down the multiples of four i want a short way i taught you before in this in the beginning of this video how to find larger numbers whether they are a multiple of a certain number okay this is another homework for you okay question number six on page number 21 it's very nice but in this time I'm going to need my my square numbers I'm gonna put them aside okay the question says find two square numbers to make each of these calculations correct I'm going to solve a B C D and going to leave the questions E F and G as a homework for you so you can practice this riddle and I don't want to have all the fun Okay, you're going to have very much fun. Okay, and some of these questions has more than one answer. Okay. The first one, a square number plus a square number gives you 10. That means we need two small square numbers. Two small square numbers. If you add them with each other, you're going to have 10. Which are these small two square numbers? Yes, correct. They are 1 plus 9. 1 plus 9. 1 is a square. 9 is square equals 10. Okay, question number B. Two square numbers equals 20. Look at these square numbers. Find two numbers that are less than 20. Add them to each other to give you 20. What are they? 16 and 4. So, if you add 4 plus 16, the answer is going to be 20. 40. Look at square numbers that are less than 40 and try to add them to each other to find the answer. Okay, 40 is between 36 and 39. So, try to make, to take square numbers that are less than 40, such as 36, 25, up to the last one. Add them to each other to get the answer 40. Did you figure it out? Yes. Using 36 plus 4 
gives us 40. So 4 plus 36 equals 40. How about 50? 50 is here. Take smaller numbers, add them to each other. Which two numbers, if you add them to each other, will give you 50? The answer is adding 1 plus 49. Again, 49 or 1 plus 49 will give you 50. Okay, those questions are going to be as a homework, so you can practice these skills.